was up guys i'm back i'm back here on video today okay folks so i'm back and uh i'm back here on our video today and stuff and um uh, yeah you know so um today i'm going to be talking about um some baseball stuff mainly some baseball off season um uh baseball signing off season and stuff and um and it it revolves around Jacob DeGrom and him signing with the Texas Rangers and stuff. So, um, yeah, you know. And, um, so recently, Jacob DeGrom, um, signed with the Texas Rangers, uh, pitcher and stuff. And, uh, he signed a five-year contract, uh, that is worth, uh, 185 million and stuff. And just, what, oh, folks? So, um, uh, one of folks. So, um, uh, I'm here on a website and stuff, and, uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm here on a website, and, um, it says that, um, uh, he agreed to the deal uh, on Friday and stuff, like, this past Friday, obviously, and, and it says here that, uh, he's gonna be getting... 30 million, um, uh, this upcoming season, like in 2023 and stuff, 40 million in 2024 and 2025, 38 million in, uh, 2026, and the last year, he'll be getting 37 million dollars in 2027 and stuff, so, yeah, you know, and stuff, and, like th th those are like stuff what he's gonna be earning and 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 that stuff. So uh, obviously and um, so obviously uh last off season they spent uh like basically half a billion dollars on like two uh million fielders and stuff and um. Now this season, uh now this off season they're looking to get even better. By adding Jacob DeGrom, which, um, when he's not dealing with injuries, like, I feel like he's, like, the best pitcher in baseball without injuries and stuff, obviously, and, yeah, you know, so, um, I'm here on another website where it's got, like, uh, his, his stats and stuff, so, um, he obviously, um, won, uh, two Cy Youngs. Two straight in uh, 2018 and 2019 and stuff, and yeah, you know and stuff and in those seasons um he barely got over ten wins and stuff. Um, in 2018 he won the Cy Young, he and only had ten wins and all that stuff. At 32 starts. He did great that year, obviously. And the next year, uh, in 2019, he had 11 wins and still on Sion, you know, and stuff. Obviously. Or something, and, um. <laughs> just like, wow, folks. And stuff. And then 2020, he, um. Uh, in, in the short season, he um he also did great, obviously and stuff, and just went on folks. like just went on folks. So um, oh uh, when he's healthy, uh he does great things, obviously, and all of that stuff and. Yeah, you know, and, um, if Jacob DeGrom is able to, um, avoid injuries, like, as long as he stays healthy with Texas, um, if he can have, uh, three out of these five seasons to be really good, like, then that would be great, obviously, you know, like, just, what, oh, folks, so, um, <laughs> like, just, what, oh, folks, so over his career, he said, um, uh, he has 
82 and 57 record, like 82 wins and 57 losses and stuff. A 2.52 career ERA, like 2.52 and stuff. In 209 starts, just one of fogs. Um, just one of fogs. He's pitched over up uh, 1,300 career innings. Um, he struck out um, 1,607 um hitters and all that stuff. Like just one of fogs. He's faced 5,217 batters and just one of fogs. Okay, so um, if we look at career hits per nine, like just one of fogs. Uh, his career hits point nine is six point nine and stuff like just one of fogs. Like career hits per, per nine is six point nine. Like just one of fogs. <laughs> like just, I'm not gonna ask why that happened and stuff. Like just, it it did and stuff, and we're not gonna ask and stuff. Like just one of fogs. So um, uh, his career strikeout, per, his career strikeouts per nine, is ten point nine and stuff. Like if we talk about career, obviously, and stuff. Um, his highest strikeout, his highest strikeouts per nine, um. Or in, in in these pa two pa in these past two seasons in 2021 and this past season in 2022 with 14.3 and stuff like just wow well, folks and um lowest home runs per nine in the season was 0 0.4 um in 2018 and stuff and, and in his rookie season. In 2014, with, with 0 0.4 and stuff. Like, just one of fogs. His highest winning percentage was in 2021. Uh, with a 77.8 winning percentage and stuff. Like, just one of fogs and stuff. So, um, um, one of fogs. So, um, so what do I think about the deal? Like, I mean, as long as he stays healthy, I think it'll be a great deal, obviously. Because, like, he's basically, um, the best pitcher in baseball when he's healthy and stuff. And, like, if he stays healthy, then I feel like he can have an opportunity to do great things, obviously. And just, what well, folks? So, um. Like, just one of fogs. Like, like, he's now, um, he's 34 years old and stuff. So, he's gonna be, um, he's gonna be almost 40 when, um, when his, his contract is up and, and all that stuff. So, one of fogs. So, um, now is basically I'm gonna end today's video off and stuff. Like, there's not much left for me to say right now. Like, there's not much. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. And peace out, everybody.